Hello, Simon at White Dog Music here. Thank you for dropping by the White Dog Music channel here on YouTube. Before we crack on with today's content, please leave a like and subscribe so that you can see future content and uploads. Today we're going to have a look at musical notes and how those notes apply to the guitar and bass guitar fretboard. Here are our musical notes. As you can see, we're starting at A. We're going through A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and we're then starting again from A. In music, we have other notes, and these are called sharps and flats. As you can see, in between A and B, we would have an A sharp or a B flat. In between C and D, we would have a C sharp or a D flat. In between D and E, we would have a D sharp or an E flat. In between F and G, an F sharp. Or G flat. In between G and A, we would have a G sharp or an A flat. You may have noticed that there are two notes here that don't have a sharp or a flat by them. This is B and E. Whilst it's not uncommon to see B sharp or C flat or E sharp or F flat written down in music, especially as accidentals. For the sake of this exercise, we're not going to use sharps or flats for either B or E. We're going to start off from open E, and we're not going to worry about putting sharps and flats on every single note. For the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use sharps for this exercise. However, you could apply the flats in exactly the same way that we've applied the sharps here, just for a bit of extra practice. Let's start from the open E string. Fret number one, we would move straight on to F. Fret number 2, F sharp. Fret number 3, G. Fret number 4, G sharp. Fret number 5, A. Fret number 6, A sharp. Fret number 7, B. Fret number 8, moving straight from B to C. Fret number 9, C sharp. Fret number 10, D. Fret number 11, D sharp. And finishing off finally at fret number 12 on the double dots with an E. Did you know that you've just played the scale? This is called the chromatic scale, and it simply means that you've played all 12 notes available to you between open E and E at 12 on the same string. Right, it's time to move on to our next string, which is the A string. So fret number one, we've got A sharp. Fret number two, we've got B. Fret number three, we have C. Fret number four, C sharp. Fret number five, D, which as we can see is exactly the same as the next open string, which is your D string. We'll then play number one on the D string, which is going to give us a D sharp. And we're going to finish off by playing number two on the D string, which is an E. Again, you've completed the chromatic scale and played one whole octave. You'll notice as we move to our G string, our B string, and finally string number one, which is our E string, that I haven't included any of the notes on these strings for you. This is because it's your turn to try to work out what notes are on what strings. Why not move up and down the string with your finger, working out what note you're playing as you go. You may find this a little tricky at first, but like everything, the more you do it, the easier it'll get. And before you know it, you'll know all of your notes on your fretboard. Thank you again for dropping by the White Dog Music YouTube channel. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon.